How's it going? I'm Tim Holtz here at the Ranger booth at CHA and we are doing our make and take. We are creating a grunge paper flower using multimedium, the 12 new colors of Distress Ink, and some Rock Candy Distress Stickles. So let's take a look. So what we've done on your kit is we started out with a piece of grunge paper that we have covered with dictionary paper and we glue that down using multimedium because that's going to stay flexible. It makes for a great glue. Then we've gone in and die cut these using the new alterations die. We've used a tattered flower die, so that's what you have here. And what you're going to do is you're going to ink these using any of the new colors of Distress. So you have all 12 colors between the two of you. Each one has its own blending tool to work with. Go ahead and start by tapping the blending tool on the ink pad and rub that directly onto the printed side of all three of your flowers. So go crazy with the new colors. I know. Oh, what to start with. And you can work in any of the colors. One of the great things about this palette is the fact that um, there's all sorts of lights and bright tones in here. You've got some real pastel colors like sponge sugar, Victorian velvet, tumbled glass. And then we've gone into much more intense colors like barn door, forest moss, chip sapphire, and rusty hinge. And you can see that they really have that great distress quality but with a whole new palette. So they coordinate with the existing 24 years. And the reason I've covered it with dictionary paper is because these are translucent inks. So if we would have inked directly onto the grunge, your light pink would not have shown up pink. Your light blue would have shown up blue because it would have all had a gray hue to it. What we're going to do next, once all of the flowers are inked, we're going to add a little bit of nostalgic shimmer to this. So we're going to take the Rock Candy Distress Stickles. Go ahead and take it and put a blob of it in the center of each of the flowers. Just kind of squirt out a blob. And then you're going to take your finger, that's perfect, and you're going to spread it out all the way across the flower. The cool thing about Distress Stickles is that it's a, it's a mica looking glitter. It's not your typical Mylar glitter, so it adds a whole different element. And when you apply it, you want to spread it out really thin over the whole thing. The thinner this goes on, the better it's going to look. So if you're putting it on too thick, you're going to get kind of a frosted look. So you want to definitely spread it out thin. Now drying time on this doesn't take very long to dry, but one of my favorite things about working with any of the Distress Stickles is the fact that you can heat them to dry. Once you get it all spread out around all three flowers, kind of cluster them together a little bit. You don't need to stack them, just kind of put them together. Take a heat tool and dry it. And you'll notice when you apply it that you don't see really any glitter. There's no sparkle there. But once you dry this, that glue will go from a gloss to a matte. You won't even see it. And then you'll have all these little crystals start to sparkle when you see the glitter. While that's drying, we're going to go ahead and take our grunge flower. There's three levels. The first layer, that large flower, we're going to curl the petals under simply by rolling that in your fingers because grunge is flexible. Roll the petals down. The daisy, we're going to roll the petals up. And the small flower is just going to stay flat. So once we get our petal shaped, we're going to uh, put this together. And we're actually going to glue each layer with a little bit of glossy accents. So go ahead and place this down onto your cork. Start with the large one. Put a little dot of glossy accents in the center there. Place your daisy on it. A little bit of glossy accents there. And set your small flower on it. And just press it down and hold it there. You can go ahead and work that on your cork mat. you're going to glue all three layers together. Yeah, just a little bit is all you need on that. And that's just going to hold it in place because we're going to pierce a hole through all the layers so it's easier when you're stacking them up. Perfect. Good. Go ahead and just press down with your finger just to, just to stick them together for a second. Then we're going to end up piercing it all together. Oh, I see. So that's all you need. You can look right on your cork mat. That's so pretty. Isn't that nice how it all works? While that's setting up, you're going to take your craft pick, and here's what I want you to do. While it's on your cork mat, you're going to take the pick, you're going to pierce through the three layers. Once you feel it go through the three layers of grunge, you're going to lift it off the cork mat, hold it between your fingers, and twist this the rest of the way. If you try to go all the way through the cork, the tool will just retract. No, just like Which that. Is all right. It's all right. But when you pick it up, just be careful, because we want to go all the way to the base of the needle tool, because um, to the base, that's the largest diameter hole that the craft pick will make. So you just kind of do a twisting motion and twist it back out. Then you're going to take the pin of your clutch pin and you're going to insert that right into the center of your flower. Just press that in. It's kind of like a thumbtack and you can just leave it like that for right now. And then we're going to work on the center. Now the center of our flower is one of the ideology type charms. And what we've done is we've taken a small little bee charm. This is from Vintage. And we've attached it to the type charm. So what you're going to do is choose your initial from the type charm stickers 
place it down, make sure your charm is hanging on the bottom. Place your monogram sticker down and then take one of the epoxy stickers that also comes with the type charms and place that right on top. So, two stickers. Couldn't be easier to make a vintage typewriter key. So simple. Now this also fits a standard half inch punch. So if you didn't want to use letters but you wanted to punch out photos or pattern paper to make your own charms, a half inch punch will do. Right? And here's how we're going to attach the type charms. You're going to take some blue dots. I like to use this roller, it's very convenient. So pick up your roller, you're going to just advance this with your finger until you see a glue dot there. Take the type charm and actually press it onto the glue dot so you'll never touch it and stick that in the center of your flower. It's that simple. So there you go. And once you stick that in the center, you are finished. You can pin it on and attach it with the back of the clutch. So there you go. Thank you. That was good. Did you guys have fun? It was great.